Are you looking forward to coming back? It's been a couple of years. Oh yeah, very, very much so. It's uh, not to sound, you know, the obvious, but it truly is one of our favorite places to play. The, the people there are incredible, the venues, the city, the, everything is so special. And each city has its own unique feel and experience, and it's just, I love it so much. So. Excellent. We're very excited. Excellent. When, when do you guys get here? It, yeah, you. It t- takes about two days to get here, so yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, excellent. So, um, look, I've, I I know you've got a, a bit to do today, so I think I've got fifteen minutes. So I'll ask you a few things along the way. Um, it's eighteen months since In Our Wake dropped. How's the uh, what's the impact been like in that time? It's a great record. Ah, okay. Well, we'll lead into that now. I mean, so, I mean what what happened I mean, after you? I mean, I'm guessing that the this touring cycle with Australia is, as you said, it's the icing on the cake. It's the end. I mean, what what's what happens after Australia? You guys just you just keep working. I don't know if I'm so excited about this, but fuck it. <laughs> Why not? That's great. And it's great to know that you guys are, uh, 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 you just keep going and going. Because obviously you had that little hiatus period. And In Our Wake was your second album after that little break. And, and it, set, it it really seemed like you guys hit your strap. So it's great you just, you're pushing on and doing a third one. So what um what can Australian audiences expect when you do get here? Um I mean if you've if you've never seen an Australian show, then you know, five dudes running around like idiots making mediocre jokes and <laughs> having the best time of their lives, you know. And everyone in the room will feel the same way. It's uh, a very fun community to be a part of, you know. Every show, like the connection that we have with the audience is, is truly, truly a special thing. So we're grateful for all of those events, you know? So, yeah, we're going to go hard. We're going to play loud and fast and give every ounce of everything we've got out there, you know? That's a really good description. I've seen you guys a couple of times. That's a really good description. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I mean, I know with the the... This, I mean, obviously, this is the, a part of the In Our Wake tour, uh, but I know certainly last year you'd done a thing where you um, you reached out to the your fans to go and choose the set list. Is that what's going to happen with Australia, or are you going to focus mostly on the new album? No, uh, I mean we always kind of play the, the quote unquote hits when you when we when we do shows, and we don't go there as often, sadly. So it's like it would be weird. To- I don't know. We we did a 20 year thing because it was our 20 years yeah. of uh, last year. You know what I mean? So 
so we wanted to celebrate that. But now it's 21 years. So kind of we're like, we don't really want to do the 20 years thing again. And also, to be perfectly frank with you, 20 songs is just too fucking much. Like, it was so long. Yeah. The set was, I was drinking pre-workout mid-set to, like, keep, to make sure I could do it all. Like, it was crazy. But, uh, I mean, it was an incredible experience and amazing. And the shows every night were fucking spectacular. But we were just like, we debated doing it again, but like, it's just not 20 years, you know? Yeah. Because your songs are all they're all fast, fast and energetic. There's not really a breather in there, even in the song. So you're right, twenty songs. Oof. Did you? Yeah, um... I mean, it's like you feel like a you feel like a jam band or something, and they'll play for like three hours. But you know, they're kind of just chilling. You know what I mean? Like we just we run around and we're screaming and yelling and sweating and headbanging, and you know what I mean? It's just it's really hard to do that. Yeah. Did you what did you find that when the fans were choosing the songs there was a few in there that surprised you guys? Does that sort of thing then start to change your mind about set lists in the future? You guys are the professionals, you know. Of course, yeah. Yeah, that, that would make sense. And you guys are professionals, you know what works as well, so we're not. So, when, when you did the, the, the In Our Wake album, it was quite a, a, a jump from the, the previous album. Um, I mean, how did you guys get to that point where you were like, you were, you were so, in that album, you're so in the zone. How did you mentally get yourselves there? Um, well, when we wrote Long Live, it was our entire goal was just to like write a heavy album. Yeah. You know what I mean? We just wanted to go fast and go hard and just yell. I mean, we had everything bottled up for years from the hiatus. Just wanted to go and do whatever we wanted, you know, which we've always done, but we just wanted the heavy album, so we did it. And then on in our wake, we went back in with John Feldman, who did Let's Hail, who we get along with really, really, really well. He's doing the new album as well. And the experience there, the way he works, is very conducive to like, okay, what do you feel like right now? Who are you this moment and this moment in time? You know what I mean? It's yeah. very second. Not like, oh, I have this riff that I've been working on for years or days or weeks or whatever. Um, and we don't even really come in with a bunch of songs. Like on certain records, we've done that. I think the congregation, we wrote like 30 something songs. I could be misquoting that number, but it was a lot, way too many. Um, and I just don't think that works for us. So on, in our wake, that was our first time just like, okay, let's write something now. What comes out? You know? And I think it, it, 
can write something like this or like you just got to do something now. And mm. then we, we go and we write it and we have the idea down and Brandon puts the drums down, the guitar. We, we like, throughout the whole time, Alex is working on some lyrics and then we all get together with Melody and we just put it down. You know? So when you do that, you're done. And you do like two songs a day sometimes. And then you're like, cool, let's go to the next one. Whereas on previous albums, you would, you know, get together, write 10 or 12 songs, whatever, and do pre-production, and then do all the drums, and then all the bass, and then all the guitars, or whatever, you know? And this one is just like, you just do it all in one day, and then you're done. More organic. And that, that way, yeah, and I, I honestly, I really like it that way. It's kind of weird when it comes to, like, learning the songs live, because you never actually have the time to sit and learn the song. You write it, and record it, and you, you forget it, you know what I mean? Mm. So that was kind of interesting on certain songs, so. Uh, I really enjoy the method of it, you know? It, it gives everyone a chance to be like, uh, I want to write a song about this. Like, that's how the idea of In Our Wake uh, came about. And uh, Elman, the producer, was like, well, what do you got today? And for once, it was quiet. Because usually, if someone has an idea, we're all pretty right in the well with ideas, you know? So uh, I was like, I got one. It was that moment where like the whole class turned to you, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good chemistry that you guys got in that. Is is the next I'm very grateful for that. Is the next album gonna be done the same way? It's like when you send someone a Facebook message and you've been left on scene. You're like, dude, man, respond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah. Um, I'll, I'll ask you one last question and then I've got to, I've got to uh, let you go. I know. Um, Alex on the last junket for In Our Wake said that he felt you guys invented metalcore 20 years ago. I mean, is 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 that what you feel yourself that you, you guys are kind of like these this father of the genre? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think so. Um, I think it's 